Hello everyone, welcome. Uh, we have been working on several labs for AZ-104 exam, that is for Microsoft Azure Administrator certification. And uh, we have already completed in last three videos the first three tasks in this uh, overall lab for backing up virtual machines. Uh, in the first video we provisioned the lab environment where we have two different virtual machines in the next video, we created a recovery vault and configured it. In the last video, uh, we implemented Azure Virtual Machine Level Backup uh, using the recovery vault. And in this video, we're going to implement file and folder backup. So let's get to the task. So here's my task. So on the Azure portal, start and select the virtual machines. Okay. So uh, we have enabled the backup for VM0 and this time we're gonna work on VM1. So actually I'm just gonna copy that name and let's just go to our VM uh, in our Azure instance and just look for the VM name directly. So there you go. So we got it. On that blade, click on connect in the drop down menu click RDP on the connect with RDP blade key click on download RDP file and the follow the prompts to start a remote session so what they're doing they're saying connect you just click on RDP and you get the file you download file and open it if you're using Windows now I not not doing this uh, using Windows so I'm gonna use a slightly different method so I'm just going to copy this uh, public IP address and I typically use a tool, I guess this is the tool, Remania or Ramina, remote desktop client and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to provide the public IP address of my machine and hit enter. So it's going to try to connect and it's asking me for a certificate, I say yeah, accept the certificate, now I need the username. So that's student and let's get the password. Uh, let's see, this is my password. Okay, password domain, I don't need anything. Uh, I think that's all good. So it should give me, let me log into this particular virtual machine which is hosted in my Azure environment. And as you can see, that now I'm in that machine right now. So it's going and doing some initialization stuff. So let's go back to the lab and read the notes. This step refers to connecting via remote desktop from Windows computer. On Mac, you can use a remote desktop client from the Mac App Store. And Linux computer, you can use an open source RDP client software. So this is what we have just done. We have used a Remina to connect to the machine. And it says you can ignore any warning prompts when connecting to the target virtual machine. So here I'll just say yes. Uh, don't show this message again just uh, click okay uh, then we have provided all that within the remote desktop session to this to this machine on the server manager window click local server okay server manager window here is my local server and click IE enhanced security configuration and turn it off for administrators okay let's see IE where is my IE Local servers, I am trying to find. I don't see that option even in here at all. Uh, let me, local server. All right, I think I found that it's a little hard to find it. It's the IE security configuration is right here. So we need to click on that and we need to turn it off for the administrators. Okay, that's what uh, our lab is asking. And I need to click on OK. Uh, didn't do that. OK is right here. So let's see if I can do that. My window is a little, little small. Anyway, I can hmm. 
No, I may have to reconnect with a bigger size window. This is giving me a lot of trouble. So let me try one more time over here. Now this is going back. And this is it's just going me a bar. It's not giving me a bar. So let's stop it and see if it's saved for me or not one last time. I inhale still says on so unfortunately let me just log back in uh, with a bigger window size okay guys I'm back so it was a little bit crazy but I had to move this bar over here to get to the OK button so for that administrator I'm gonna, gonna turn it off that Internet Explorer enhanced security configuration so I can, I'm just gonna say OK and at this time so we have completed this step now within the remote desktop session uh, browse to azure portal and sign in with your credentials so let's do that so let's go let's go to portal dot azure.com and let me just log in and we'll restart the video okay everyone we're now logged into our azure portal from within this particular virtual machine that we have deployed so let's see what else do we need to do and in this azure portal we're going to search for the same recovery fault services faults so let's go up in here and search for that particular recovery service vault. Uh, that VM. Uh, no, I need to. Let's go to the recovery service vault actually. So go to there and hit here. Here's the request service fonts. Okay, from here we're gonna go to our recovery service font. We have two. So we wanna go to the vault that we that we have created. On this request service vault we click on backup look on the backup goal we are going to specify where is the backup running on-prem and what we want to uh, backup is files and folders so here instead of azure this time i'm going to choose on-premises and here files and folders is what we want to choose so look at that we, are, we can uh, backup a lot of different things okay so once even though the virtual machine you are using this disk is running an issue you can leverage it to evaluate the backup capabilities applicable to any on-premises computer running windows server operating system on the backup gold blade key click on prepare infrastructure okay so this is the prepare infrastructure so let's click on that on the prepare infrastructure blade click on download agent for windows server or windows client link so there we go so just click on that link and it's asking you to either run or save uh, just run and start the installation so just run this installation process it's downloading when run and start installation of the m a r s agent installer.exe with the default setting so just uh, whatever comes up we're just gonna say default 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 install okay uh, note on the Microsoft update opt-in page for Microsoft Azure 6 regions we just say look I do not want to use Microsoft update installation option oh, <laughs> I think we have used something else on the installation page of the Microsoft uh, recovery services agent setup wizard click proceed to registration and it will start the server wizard so here 
it's still doing so, so here is the proceed to uh, registration so click on that so it's going to start the uh, server registration let's say you said started uh, came up with the vault uh, identification thing uh, which on the instruction page of Microsoft Azure Recovery Services Agent Setup Wizard proceed to registration so that's what we completed it will start the register server wizard so that's where we are switch to Internet Explorer window displaying Azure portal on the prepare infrastructure blade select the checkbox already downloaded or using latest recovery service agent and click download it. download so let's go back here already downloaded so click on that and then click on download and this time save it will set the, uh, to the local downloads folder so that's fine so just save it and uh, switch back to register server builder and vault identification page click browse so switch back to register server wizard so uh, from here or register server wizard was where so let's drop it down here and here i just need to click on browse so once i click on browse it's uh, under download this is the file that i need this is my vault credential that's good so say just open and it's importing and we do we have just done that back on the vault identification click on next okay uh, on the encryption setting page of the register server wizard click generate passphrase okay so over here generate passphrase uh, on the encryption setting of the register server wizard click browse button and enter a location to save the passphrase drop down list so I need I don't see that option over here right now uh, I have we have done that we have done that. okay okay we need to it we need to look something in here we need to configure so let's see if we can make this window a little bit bigger all right we are back uh, I just had to log in with a different uh, client um, to log into the machine should have a better control of the screen. I really like Remina, but it looks like resizing the windows is a is a problem with that. So I'm just using a different client. So I'm in the same virtual machine and we kind of stopped in here and we could not get to this button. So now I have access to everything. So let's go back to our task that we're working on for the file recovery. and uh, where were we? we we were configuring our over here uh, then switch to the register server wizard and vault identification browse so that the credential we have done that we have done that uh, and then we are kind of over here on the encryption page generate passphrase so we did that and once that's done uh, browse for the folder select documents and click click ok so just select uh, uh, documents and it's documents and hit ok so we got that uh, once we are done click finish review microsoft azure backup warning and click yes so finish review warning and click yes so registering the server with the microsoft azure backup okay so the difference between our file server and the VM in this one you gotta have your agent installed on on that uh, on that machine if you have it on on uh, on an on-prem environment and you gotta configure that the way we did okay uh, so let's go back it's registering the server with the Microsoft backup uh, in the browse for folder dialog box select document and, and, and note this production environment you should store passphrase file in a secure location rather than in the server being backed up so that 
make sense and then on the server registration page of the register server wizard review the warning regarding the location of the passphrase file ensure the launch microsoft recovery service agent checkbox is selected and click close this will automatically open the microsoft azure backup console so we have done all that look at the warning now if you close it should open up something that's what it said open the microsoft Azure backup console i do not see that In the Microsoft Azure Backup Console, so I didn't since I didn't see that, so let's uh, search for that one. And see if I can get to something. And I got struck. Let's see if I can type something. Just give it a second. All right, we are back in here and it has opened up the uh, Microsoft Azure Backup uh, Console and here are the action section. Uh, in here, we can click on a schedule a backup right here. And it's it has given us a new wizard. And in here, we'll just click on next. Uh, on the select items backup page click add items so select item backup page click on add items what do you want to backup select uh, C Windows system uh, 32 drivers etc select hosts and click OK so C Windows drivers was it drivers? C Windows Systems 32, sorry, C Windows Systems Systems 32 expand just taking some time, expanded, okay then drivers, we want to go to drivers uh, where is my drivers? okay, drivers uh, inside drivers go to etc Okay, under it is a select hosts and now click OK. Alright, that's uh, select items for backup. That's what I selected. On the select item to backup page, click next. So we are back here. Uh, okay, use this for removing all items for volume. Refer to Exclusion setting for removing items. So, if a backup location includes file type or subfolder that you do not want to use, then I need to do something else. All right, I'm back in here. I was having a little bit of trouble adding that item, so let's do that one more time. So, program files. Uh, Windows System 32 driver etc. So Windows System 32 It's a little slow it looks like System 32 then uh, Drivers And I'm just going to choose the whole etc folder for now. Okay, so that folder is selected so I can click on uh, next and uh, specify backup schedule ensure the day option is selected in the drop down box below uh, the add following items select 4.30 am and click next so day is selected so we're going to choose 4.30 was it am or pm 4.30 am so go up choose 4.30 and then uh, hit next here I had none so 430 and hit next <coughs> select retention policy page accept the defaults in this retention policy page I'm just going to accept all the defaults click next uh, 
then choose initial backup type page accept the defaults click next okay on the confirmation page click on finish and uh, when the backup schedule is created click click on close so it's all done we have successfully created a backup schedule now i can close it in the microsoft azure backup console in the actions plane click on backup now so on the actions plane back up now so it's opened up this window uh, in the backup now select backup item page and your files and folders option is selected and click next so this is selected hit next uh, on the retained backup click the accept the defaults click next accept the default click next and then we just need to click on the backup so it's starting the backup and when the backup is complete, click close and I close Microsoft as your backup. Because <clears throat> I'm going to give it just a minute. So this one was a little bit, uh, uh, took some time. So you have a component where for the files and stuff, if you have a file server in your on-prem, you got to download that uh, Microsoft Azure backup agent and install it, configure it what you need to uh, backup and then go through the policy how often how soon you want to back up and then uh, if you want to take a manual backup that's what uh, we are doing right now at the moment okay so this is backing up my, the whole stuff that's in there when the backup is complete you're going to close the window and uh, close microsoft Azure backup and switch to the Explorer window displaying as your portal and get to the backup and recovery service vault blade and click on backup items and on the backup items blade click on Azure backup agent on the backup agent blade verify that the entry is available so while it's happening we can still go there um, so we have uh, the backup now this is going on uh, we can go on the backup wizard now select the backup item file and folder so this is we have completed uh, internet explorer window and we go to recovery services blade and backup items so now i can go back to my regular browser over here so let's see that's the recovery fault So RSV1 backup items blade. So let's see. Backup items should it be here? Uh, as your backup agent. So you can see that it's now A01410 RSV1. Here's the backup items for the protected server A01410 VM. So this backup is is uh, going on at the moment and yeah there is an entry for that particular C drive over here so that's what we have verified so that ends this section of the video I'm sorry that we had to go through some trouble uh, because I'm using a RDP client from the window uh, from the Linux box and they're not as friendly as some of the windows RDB clients, but we were still able to manage it. We have to go through some some tweaks here and there. And uh, finally, I used this uh, remote desktop viewer uh, RDP client within the Linux environment to complete this lab. Uh, that's the end of this lab. In the next one, we'll perform the file recovery using Azure Recovery Services Agent. And good luck with the exam. If you like the video, please share, subscribe, and good luck with the exam again.